Warriors, Tiger Claw's Fury, Chapter 1. Kill him! Blind him! Drive him out of the forest! The wound in Tiger Claw's belly pulsed with agony, and the warm and he felt warm, sticky blood pooling beneath his paws. His clanmate's furious words seemed to be coming from from a long way off, as if he were underwater, cocooned in peaceful cold. You lost, screeched a voice inside his head, beaten by kitty pets and fools. Tigerclaw felt his lip curl in a snarl. I lost this battle, he conceded silently. But for as long as there is blood in my veins, I will not give up. Tiger Claw! Blue Star me meowed. I have. Have you anything to say in your defense? The Thunder Clan leader's blue gray fur was streaked with blood. Tiger Claw was, was as well as her own. And her eyes were dull and unfocused. Tiger Claw felt a thrill of satisfaction at his actions. He, his careful plans had left her, her shattered and, and flailing inside. He knew a broken cat at, when he saw one. This was the end of Blue Star's leadership, even if he hadn't managed to take her last lives. The thought numbed the pain in his belly as he, he gave strength to his trembling legs. Defend myself to you? Ooh, you gutless excuse for a warrior, he hissed. What sort of leader are you? Keeping the peace with the other clans? Helping them? You barely punished Fireheart and Graystripe for feeding River Clan, and you sent them to fetch Wind Clan home? I would have never shown such a ki such kitty pet softness. I would have brought back the days of Tiger Clan. I would have made Thunder Clan great. And how many cats would have died for it? Blue Star replied softly. She shook herself, then lifted her head. If you have nothing else to say, then I sentence you to exile, she declared. You will leave Thunder Clan territory now, and if any cat sees you, here after sunrise tomorrow they have my permission to kill you kill me tiger claw echoed i i'd like to see any of them try fireheart beat you gray star gray stripe yelled fireheart tiger claw slowly turned his head ed to look at the the ginger kitty pet a warrior name will never make you forest-born, no matter or what your clanmates tell you. Cross my path again, you stinking furball, and we'll see who's the stronger. Fireheart sprang up, his tail lashing, even though one of his eyes was swollen shut from a blow oh, from Tiger Claw's paw. Any time, Tiger Claw, he spat. No, Blue Star interrupted them. No more fighting. Tiger Claw, leave my sight. Tiger Claw made himself stand up, in spite of the trembling that shook his paws. A fresh wave of blood oozed from his belly, and the edge of the wound shifted. As the edge of the wound shifted, he heard gasps from the cats around him, but ignored them. Pain is nothing. Defeat is nothing. Don't think I am finished. He warned. Staring at the battle stunned faces is around him. I'll be a leader. I'll be a leader yet. And any cat who comes with me will be well looked after. He looked looked for his closest ally in Thunderclan, the cat who'd always told him that he should be leader by now, Darkstripe. The black stripe tabby stayed where he was, sitting among the warriors. I trusted you, Tiger Claw, he whimpered. I thought you were the finest warrior in the forest. But you plotted it with what? That tyrant? Tiger Claw guessed he was speaking of Broken Tail, the exiled Shadow Clan leader who had lived in Thunder Clan's camp. And you said nothing. 
And now you expect me to come with you? He dropped his head, unable to meet Tiger Claw's gaze. Traitor, you dare to deny me in front of all these cats. You'll pay for this with every hair of your pelt. Tiger Claw for burst his for fur to lie flat. I needed Broken Tail's help. Help to make contact with the rogue cats. If you choose to take this personally, that's your problem, he sniffed. And looked at another cat, who listened to his plans, promised to stand by him when he brought a clear, strong leadership to ThunderClan. Longtail, the pit ill tabby almost leaped out of his skin. Come with you, Tigerclaw? Into exile? He sounded horrified. I, no, I can't. I'm loyal to ThunderClan. You're a pathetic coward, more like. Tiger Claw screeched silently. He he scanned the ranks of the cats, looking for a hint of understanding, a a recognition that this weak and kitty pet favoring clan was no place for a true warrior. What about you, Dust Pelt? he growled. You'll have richer pickings with me than you ever will in Thunder Clan. The young, young brown tabby he got deliberately to his paws and picked his way through the surrounding cats until he stood in front of Tiger Claw. I looked up to you, he admitted. I wanted to be like you, but Redtail was my mentor. I owe him more than any cat, and you killed him. His eyes grew huge as he started to shake. You killed him and betrayed the clan. I'd rather die than follow you. Redtail deserved to die. He was too much like Blue Star, always looking for peace and reconciliation. It was only luck that Oakheart hadn't killed him before being caught by that rockfall. Redtail would have never survived that battle. Tiger Claw, Blue Star are broken to his memories of dust and falling stones, and a bright and the bright red splash opening in Redtail's throat. No more of this. Go now. Tiger Claw lifted his head and met her gaze. I'm going, but I'll be back. You can be sure of that. I'll be re revenged on you all. He turned and walked away, gritting his teeth against the pain in his belly. I will not show them how badly I've been wounded. He paused and drew level with Fireheart. As for you, he growled, keep your eyes open. Fireheart, keep your ears pricked. I'll keep looking behind you, because one day I'll find you, and then you'll be crow food. You're crow food now, Fireheart snapped. But the stretch of fear, ro but the stench of fear rose from him. Tigerclaw stared, eared into the warrior's wide green eyes. You know already that I will kill you one day. Your last breath will be gasped as beneath my paws. Your last drop of blood will be spilled on my fur. Stones will break and the sky will fall when we meet in our final battle. With the flick of his tail, he felt, felt as if it were ripping in his belly apart. He walked across the clearing without looking back. From the inside of the nursery, he heard, heard the tiny mules of his son and daughter, Bramble K Kit and Tawny Kit, quietly hushed by their mother. Golden Flower, I will come back for you, Tiger, Heart va Tiger Claw vowed. He, he would not leave his kits to be raised in a clan of weaklings. They deserved to learn earn from his example, to model themselves on his courage and skill in battle. Some skill you will, you showed today, came the voice in his head again. This old claw all would have clouted you over the ears for letting yourself get beaten by a kitty pet and a star-crazed old she-cat. This old claw all wouldn't have dared take on the leader of his clan, Tiger Claw lashed back. If he hadn't let Blue Star become deputy in the first place, everything would be different. He would have chosen me to succeed him, 
and Thunder Clan would be strong as we deserve. He pushed his way through the gorse tunnel, hardly noticing the thorns that clutched at his blood matted fur. The barricade had been ripped and, sh and scattered by fleeing cats who had sworn to fight alongside Tiger Claw until he had killed Blue Star on the promise that he would make the him his foremost warriors in the new Thunder Clan. Tiger Claw spat onto the du dusty earth. He could have he should have known better than to, to rely on those half trained rogues. The only forest born cat had been only a forest born cat had the true instincts of a warrior. The Shadow Clan outlaw Oz had disappointed him too. Had made soft by moons of starving alone, too easily cat out by cats fighting to defend their home. Tiger Clan needed more with them, more time with them. She remind them him of the training they had received under Broken Star. The former Shadow Clan leader may have been and criticized for asking too much of his warriors, but he had made his clan the most feared and powerful in the forest. Who could judge him for that? And Tiger Claw might I'd still have have one of one if River Clan hadn't turned up at the tipping point of the battle, Misty Foot and Leopard Fur are bounding to the rescue of the Thunderclan cats who had been their sworn enemies just a few moons earlier. Why did the clans so show much mercy to one another? What did it, it matter to Riverclan if Thunderclan lost its leader? Tickerclaw felt his hackles raise. Of course, of course it was River in Riverclan's interest to keep Blue Star in command. We can Addled and unable to maintain her grip on sunny rocks. It was probably Crooked Star's greatest fear to have Tiger Claw in charge of his closest neighbors. The dampened light cat. The, the dappled shadows cast by Bree's stirred oak and beech leaves gave way to cool, damp, damp gloom beneath the pine tree that bordered two leg place. Tiger Claw paused for a moment to check that no cat was following him, but the woods were silent apart from the call of a blackbird and the tree branch rustling against another, other with a soft creak. He let himself sink down onto the pa onto a patch of moss, letting out a grunt of pain. He craned his neck to study the wound on his belly. Fireheart had been lucky to get so close to him. But if he, he'd really wanted to hurt Tiger Claw, he would have gone for his neck. Tiger Claw dragged some loose moss against the wound, hissing as he pressed it hard, hard to stem the bleeding. His head swam with pain, and he fought off the wave of blackness that rose behind his eyes. He pictured the clan he had left behind battle bruised and cowering in the dust. Did he really want to command warriors that were so nearly beaten by half train by a half trained patrol of rogues? Fireheart had taken all the credit for winning, as always, and every cat had been hanging on his words, gazing doe gazing in doe eyed admiration. If they were so willing to listen to a kitty pet, they didn't deserve a leader such as Tiger Claw. How dare Blue Star cast him out? Had she forgotten how many times he had won battles for Thunder Clan? Found food for his clan mates, defended the the borders against their enemies. They owed him everything. But in the end, they had treated him worse than an elite ice ridden fox. He could would have been in the best leader ThunderClan had ever known. Better than your father Pine Star, purred the voice in his, in his ear. He betrayed his clan. He betrayed you. When he left to become a kitty pet, you never 
you would never walk away from your clanmates if you were their leader. The moss under his paws started to overflow with blood. With a grunt, Tiger Claw cast it aside and looked around for another clump. He, there was no more soft green moss, but against his belly, Ellie packing it into the into the cut. He felt, felt a burst of triumph against his surroundings. The forest had tried to deny I him moss, but he had found something else. Tiger Claw half set up, pricking his ears again. His ears as he stared, aired into the trees. As clear, clear as stars, his path stretched out, out before him. There was more or than one clan in the forest, more than one chance to become leader. His destiny he must lie elsewhere. Tiger Claw would return to Thunder Clan, only to crush his former clanmates in battle. He would not fail again.